Hi guys, I'm Elle and welcome back to Just Ironic. As you may have seen by the title of this video, today I will be talking about my favorite sustainable fashion and social justice books, so stay tuned. So the first book I want to talk about is Rise and Resist and How to Change the World by Claire Press. I think this book is really great for anyone that's interested in being a sustainable fashion activist or wants to learn more about the sustainable fashion movement overall. It gives you a good background on the history of how sustainable fashion formed. It gives you good examples about how you can engage in different sorts of activism within the fashion industry such as craftivism. And I think it gives you a lot of cool and creative strategies and how you can really become more immersed in a community that really wants to have more just and humane policies in the fashion industry so if you have either a good background in fast fashion and sustainable fashion and you want to learn more about activism this is a perfect book the second book I want to talk about is global perspectives on sustainable fashion by Alice Singlet and a number of other authors here this book talks about a lot of different academic studies from all over the world so I really appreciate how a lot of different academics from all over the world have compiled a lot of their research into one book and it's not that expensive given it's an academia book it's it was about thirty dollars I think and it's super great if you want to learn more about sustainable fashion through case studies that are really well written and well researched like you can see here there's a lot of graphics and it's super accessible to a lot of different people it's super understandable even if you don't have a college background so i do think that it is something that you should definitely pick up if you're interested in seeing more of a encompassing globe of what sustainable fashion is versus just being rooted in europe and america which is what i primarily seen in sustainable fashion it talks about like sustainable consumption in portuguese and brazil so it is not limited to just certain countries and it really is all encompassing so great purchase overall. The third sustainable fashion book I want to talk about is called The Conscious Closet by Elizabeth Klein. She's an amazing author that does a lot of generalistic pieces for sustainable fashion. I highly recommend her first book, Overdressed, The Shockingly High Cost of Cheap Fashion. I think that will give you a more better background of what sustainable fashion is if you're still a beginner but if you do know a little bit more I think this conscious closet book will give you a good avenue on how to practice what you know and really gives you one book that provides a lot of the essential information you need to go forward and if you don't know sustainable fashion and you don't have a good grasp on that subject that's perfectly okay I think this one will really provide little tips and tricks to guide you through your journey of learning so don't feel like you need to be an expert um, but it does really help if you already know the subject. The last sustainable fashion book that I own is called Where Am I Wearing? A Global Tour to the Countries, Factories, and People That Make Our Clothing by Kelsey Timmerin. He is an amazing author that I found randomly. I bought this book in a thrift store actually, so it's actually really quite crazy how it is a book that I really love. Um, and I just found out of nowhere. It talks about his journey of trying to find where his shirt was made from. He talks a lot about the human side of globalization. So he addresses garment workers in his book. He has firsthand conversations with them. He talks with the factory owners and he really just goes through the journey of different countries seeing how they live and why they work in sweatshops and how they don't have any alternatives and how the economy shapes the human workers instead of being more academic or more business like. It really gives you a sense that you're there with Kelsey and that you're talking to these garment workers so it definitely allowed me to be more empathetic towards garment workers and gave me a more personal viewpoint of what garment workers are going through without ever being there so I highly recommend this one if you want to be a little bit more immersed with the workers and their way of life so now going into my social justice books I want to talk about the little book a restorative justice by Howard Zerr this is a really great book if you have no idea what restorative justice is but basically it really emphasizes in the how community can be a really great um, avenue in bringing about justice to everyone involved in crime so I do highly recommend this book if you're interested in learning more about this innovative and influential movement that can really help our crime system become a new and better one now the second book I want to talk about relating to social justice is doing faith justice by Fred Kamer looks like this now I really appreciate this book because it gives you a good lens in how faith can be involved in justice I think a lot of issues are interconnected like sustainable fashion and justice and faith 
So this book really does give you a good background in what Catholic social teaching is, which are foundational principles that Catholics live by to address social issues within their present day. You don't have to be Catholic to read this book, nor do you need to really know what scriptures are or what Catholics believe in. I think it's a good introduction of how Catholics have been in a position to help the most vulnerable and poor throughout the history. For me, this book has been more of a really great way to see the context and how consumers can be part of our economy. And even though I was Catholic and don't identify as Catholic, this book has really allowed me to see how I can further practice my social justice role within my community. So I really, really recommend this if you want to learn more about justice issues and how a lot of different people from different lenses have been able to solve uh, prior issues. So this book is called The Good Business, The Catholic Social Teaching at Work in the Marketplace. The great thing about this book is that it covers human dignity, common goods, stewardship, options for the poor, economic justice, subsidiarity, solidarity, rights and responsibilities, and how you can really practice and put these in place in contemporary business practices. And what I love about this book is that it gives you case studies as well. It's a little bit more academic than anything else, but it does give you a good run through of a lot of different complex issues and moral compasses that you can really apply and I really love seeing how they have like in search of a capitalistic option for the poor so it is very much how you can create change through the system in place through this particular faith lens so I highly recommend this one if you're more curious in the Catholic social justice lens but if you're not Catholic like I said these always apply in letting you learn different solutions to you know worldwide issues now the last two books I want to talk about relating to social justice is The Catholic Social Teaching and Movements. This is a really great book if you want more of an introduction to Catholic social teaching, although the other two are also really great in their own way. But this one just allows you to have more of a historical lens of how Catholics have used their beliefs and scriptures to practice their faith for the most vulnerable and poor so it gives you a really great rundown it is a very heavy read so i'm not going to emphasize this too much if you're more in a social justice lens but i think it does give you a good background on more catholic social teaching so now the only type of businessy book that i have relating to social justice is peace through commerce peace through commerce, responsible corporate citizenship, and the ideals of the United Nations global impact. What I really appreciate about this book is that it provides more of a business logical sense to how we can push businesses to be more ethical and I really like how it is very business like and academic in the sense that it gives you case studies as well and run throughs of how we can define corporate sustainability and it gives you a lot of conceptual theories like what is environmental integrity and what that means to different companies and yeah I, I really think you'll enjoy this if you're a little bit more of a business person per se and I really appreciate how they include the United Nations goals. The SDGs are really critical in allowing the fashion industry to be more ethical and humane. So if you don't know what the SDGs are, I will also link them down below. I think they're really great for you to become more immersed in sustainable fashion and also social justice issues. So yes, love this book overall. Now the last book I've read that I want to talk about is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. If you guys don't know who this guy is or what this book is, this is a more spiritual based book that talks about the power of right now and how to become more of your authentic soul by meditating. So it is more of a spiritual based book but I really like this book because it pushes you to be less egocentric and more internal centric. And I think this is so important when you're fighting for sustainable fashion or for social justice issues. I think you have to remove yourself from your ego and see the world through one with everyone. So seeing everyone as your brothers and sisters and you know enjoying more of the moment instead of always trying to fight or always trying to fix everything. I think it's very healing and beneficial for us to quiet down for a minute and figure out why we care about the things we care about because if we don't it may lead to burnout and just more frustration and anger so I highly recommend this book and the healing process of fighting for what we believe in we can't underestimate how important it is to get to know ourselves and to spend time with ourselves in this really complicated reality so Eckhart Tolle actually is available on YouTube it's a free audiobook um, so I highly do recommend listening to that. So I'll leave that in my description as well. 
So this is the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. I make weekly videos on sustainable fashion, conscious consumerism, environmentalism, and fair trade. So please look forward to that. And if you want to check out my blog, it'll also be linked in the description. That's where the majority of my work goes to. And feel free to check out my Depop, my eBay, and my Poshmark as it helps me fund this YouTube channel. And hopefully you guys stay safe. Peace and love. Bye.